Hi. Um, so I've put together a program for Cubs this semester. That's uh, term. This that's term one, 2015. So I thought I'd make this little video so that in case I don't carry on as leader or in case there are various helpers and to coordinate with Emma or whoever else, whoever else is going to coordinate, then I thought it would kind of have a record and we could just refer back to it. So um, if you haven't received a copy of the timetable, the, the schedule for this term, just let me know and I can get that to you. It's basically, hang on a second, I'll share it now. It's this one here. Okay, so there will be three badges this term. That's the communicator badge, photographer badge, and adventure challenge award. I basically stacked the the communicator and photographer badge at the beginning of the, of the term when it's still hot, and then the adventure award. You can see towards the end, or at least the middle of the of the um, of the term, starting with a couple of indoor ones and then moving out outdoors as we move on. So I'll just take you through week by week. Um, if you need to check the awards, you can just um, control click on the uh, on the uh, link there, and it will take you to the relevant award on the website. Okay, so let's go back to that. So, um, week one, I thought we'd start on the 14th just to give people time to settle back into the school year. Um, that's a Monday. Uh, that's because I can't lead on Sunday. So if al Kabira say, we can't do it on a Monday, then these dates will have to change back to Sunday with another leader who may or may not um, choose to continue with this schedule. Apologies for the late notice, but I've just been given a timetable, which means that I um, I, uh, I can't do Sundays. So um, week one, that's the 14th. I basically set it up so we don't need to prep very much. I haven't included any games. We'll take it as read that there'll be games on to, to sort of fill in the time we don't have um, filled with activities. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the 14th, we'll also have some games, dodgeball, manhunt, whatever, etc. Um, but the, the badge activities will be for the communicator badge, and you, you can read them both there in the table. The first one we'll do in the session, basically just an opportunity to share what we did over the summer. And then the second one, we can get a couple of volunteers maybe to do it in class. I know there are a couple of Spanish speakers. Um, I think a couple of Arabic speakers as well, a couple of French speakers. So they can do it in class just to show how, how, what they need to do. And then the others can go away, do it at home, and preferably record it just to show us when they come back. If not, then we'll just take it as their word on them having done it. Week two, oh, oh, sorry, also at the end of week one, we would need to send an email out, please. Um, so again, if Emma or whoever's going to organise that can send the email out to ask um, Cubs to bring in a digital camera. And they have to do a series of, of simple tasks with the digital camera. And then I thought we'd go around, this is slightly adapted from the website, we'd take five photographs around the school and have a an exhibition at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, session. So we would also need some way of attaching, um, uploading the photos to a computer, and then being able to um, get those on a on a projector of some kind. So again, I know the school's got projectors, so it might be a case of asking. Um, parents to make sure that the uh, the digital camera is empty except for the five photos our cubs take and then they just come along 
upload the photos to um, the the um, laptop, and then we we project that and have a have a little exhibition, and students can explain that. If we see that it's not going to work, the other option that we can do, and again, Emma, just let me know or organizer, let me know if you need me to do this. I'll just set up a little blog and the students can upload their photos to the blog and then the following week we'll have a little exhibition at the beginning of the session so we do need to decide that in advance whether we're going to do it then or there or or as i say i'll set up a blog and all the all the cubs need to do is 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 send me the photos and um, i'll upload them to the blog next week um i it, it talks in the communicator badge about using amateur radio. So I thought we'd try making the cup and string radios. So again, the organizer or helper would need to choose suitable materials, find out what kind of string works, what kind of cups work in advance, and then bring in enough cups and string for the cups to be able to, to pass a message to each other. We can do that inside. What the second activity within this is whoever's giving the message has a prearranged message and um, the listener has to write that message down. And then we're going to use that message for the following week, which is to write in code. So for that week, um, that that's the 5th of the 10th, we won't need any... Um, special equipment other than paper and pens and um, some kind of code. Now, if the organizer brings the, the, the pencils and the, and the, and the paper, um, I'll, I'll figure out a code. Um, I, I can bring in sort of a selection of three or four codes. There are plenty on the internet and have Cubs choose the code and share the lesson. Okay. So the next one, um, I thought we'd go on our first trip on the 12th ice skating. It's probably still a bit warm to, to go outside, or at least for, for a lot of strenuous activities. So the ice skating fits in with the adventure challenge. Again, we'd need to collect some money for that, and we would need to um, organise which skating rink we wanted to go to and um, collect the money etc so again the organizer would need to be aware of that so we could inform cubs in advance but it, you know we have the month of september to to inform the cubs okay the the next one the photographer badge um we just would need to remember on the fifth we would need to remember to tell parents to bring the digital camera in two weeks. So that would probably mean an email as well, which we know from experience is often overlooked. Um, if we don't have enough digital cameras, um, I think we could probably bring in a few iPads as well. I have two. If the helper and the organizer have a couple, I mean, or, or digital cameras, then, you know, between us, we could bring in enough to make short films. So I, I, I think we'd need to perhaps have a theme for the film. But again, I'll, I can come up with the, the sort of framework for the activity. All I'd ask for the organiser is to, to take um, a hand in, in making sure that there are enough devices to do the recording. The following week, um, I want to throw this open to, to um, the organizers, helpers, etc. I know that my boys are really into Nerf guns. Um, I just would need to know if you're comfortable with doing this. Um, we often have Nerf battles at home. Um, you know, the, that they are designed for children. I don't think they're particularly dangerous, but again, you know, we, we need to discuss this. One option would be to, basically the Nerf battle would be, a, you know, some kind of shootout. Um, we could do it in small teams. We could have, you know, firing to the body only. 
We could perhaps bring swimming goggles in to protect people's eyes if that was a concern. We could have parents sign a consent form. Um, but these are definitely issues that I'd like to address before we did it rather than after. And if people object, then um, that's fine. Please you feel free to go on to the, to the Adventure Challenge link and find an alternative. So say if you, if you don't feel comfortable with it, fine. As an organizer, perhaps that, that day you could, you could lead or the helper could lead and you, you could find an alternative um, to that. But as I say, I, I don't see any great, great issues with it. I think it would be a popular one as long as we controlled it. Then um, the 9th of the 11th, flying a kite you've made. Again, I'll have a look at what materials we need a couple of weeks in advance. And I'll send an email out to the organizer and helpers. And um, please, if you could make sure that we've got those materials on the day. And then again, I'll, I'll look for a couple of YouTube videos um, where people explain and we'll put them in groups, let them watch the YouTube video and, and they can make the kites. And hopefully we'll have time to fly them as well. If not, we'd have to, we'd have to put that back till the following week. The following week actually is, is basically preparing for the 23rd. So that's the, uh, the, the 16th, we'd be preparing for the 23rd, which is a tracking trip to Mushroom Park. So one of the Adventure Challenge Award activities is to prepare for what you'd need and um, pack. So I'm hoping with the tracking, um, to try and think of, you know, some items that, people might need to, tra um, to bring to be able to participate. So th I'm thinking of things like um, a magnifying glass um, or perhaps something to lay down as markers, some colored markers, that kind of thing. But I'll, again, I can, I'll, I'll work on that a bit nearer the time. So the, the previous week is preparing for that. And then the following week is going to Mushroom Park. So again, somebody would just need to find out exactly how much it costs to get into Mushroom Park. And um, I, I could probably walk a tracking route out previous to the day. So I would perhaps go along to Mushroom Park or the helper would go along to Mushroom Park on the day and, and lay out the clues for the tracking. And then the others would have to bring along the cubs. So that's why we'd need more helpers on that particular day. So that will need some preparation. Um, that previous week, the 16th, it's also a good week because we're only prepping. We can either do games for the rest of the session or if required, we can fly the kites or, or perhaps work on the show the digital camera films that we've made or, you know, that kind of mopping up type activity perhaps we've got, that we've got left over from earlier in the, in the term. Then we double up, we do a photographer badge challenge and a adventure challenge. So it's, um, again, theoretically, um, this could be, I guess, in Mushroom Park again. But I'm hoping we could, we could get away a bit further and do some kind of... Uh, trekking on that day um, but again you know that would that would have to be organized well in advance it says hike or follow a trail try to walk for one or two hours I mean the, the other option there I suppose is is to do it um, on a weekend um, so we change that date but I mean we've got until the end of November to decide but again we perhaps have to start coming you know coming up with an idea and deciding are we going to have it on the friday or are we going to do a shorter trek what are we going to do and then basically you would on, on that particular day we take our, our cameras and we'd get some more you know nature type photos which again we would perhaps ask uh, cubs to either show or perhaps this time produce a little um presentation on on their ipads or, or or in a photo book and then the last um session so that would actually be three sessions out of the school that that particular week 
uh, the, the, for those last three weeks, and again, this is because of the weather, would be a trip to the British club. Now, I'm a member of the club, so I can find out if this is going to work well in advance. I don't see any problems. I know the clubs have been before. And we would offer wall climbing and kayaking. And I can have a word with the guys at the club to see if they can offer any other adventure type activities as well. Um, but I'd let you know near the time. So I'd actually be organizer and, and leader for that particular activity. So um, that's the schedule. As I say, maybe the three trips at the end is too ambitious, but I think if we organize ourselves in advance, it should be okay. Um, here are some other points to bear in mind. I think that um, if the organizer could simply allocate parents on every every particular week and, and use your judgment I think about whether one two or three are required obviously the trips would require um, three a minimum of three I would say so we would allocate this and we would say to parents if you're unable to um, to help on one of the sessions then we will have to offer your place to somebody else because we all need to lock in basically so if the organizer could could do that part of the uh, fill in that part of the uh, table that would be great second thing we won't have the adventure scouts I don't think um, this semester they were fantastic last year so again if the organizer perhaps could get in touch with the adventure scouts leaders and see if anybody else is doing the the award that they were doing and want to come and help um, and again that would be that would be really useful um, I can't think of anything else for now um, if anything else kind of needs organizing like this then I'm you know I'm sure we'll be meeting but this is just as I say this is just a good way of having a record uh, that we can refer to and uh, you know we don't have to kind of repeat repeat ourselves a lot I'll put this on YouTube so if anybody wants to make a comment on YouTube in the comments bit then just you know stick your comments down there and we've got a record and um, you know as I say it might it might make our coordination a bit smoother Okay, that's all for now.